fuck you. I'm all about the chicken, call me Popeyes. Hello, Wash Space, UFO Grove here. And this one is a reaction about a toddler, a toddler getting attacked by a coyote in Huntington Beach. And the mom intends to, to sue. Let's see, this is crazy, bro. Wow, looking at this little girl face, man. Let's go, bro. A little girl's face is shredded by a coyote. The ordeal began when the youngster was enjoying a beach outing with her family. You can see the two-year-old standing up behind her mom. Then, out of nowhere, the coyote pounces, knocking the wow. beast tears away with its teeth. Coyote attack on a child. The mom. The mom not doing nothing. Five months ago, but we're only now seeing the girl's injuries. Her mom, Brianne Thacker, and her attorney also announced they plan to sue the city and release this video of the youngster riding a carousel before her face was scarred. Frankly, she's lucky to be alive at all. Unfortunately, she has developed scars on her face. She's absolutely traumatized from all this, uh, as is her mother. The attack happened here in Huntington Beach, a.k.a. Surf City, USA, one of the most famous beaches in the country. The girl's family says city officials have known that coyote sightings are on the rise, along with attacks on small pets, but say that the city failed to follow through with plans to try to scare the coyotes away. Across the nation, coyotes are getting more urbanized, roaming residential neighborhoods. In Los Angeles, this coyote chased a chihuahua in the backyard and chomped down on the little guy. The coyote oh. tries to make a getaway with the family pet still in its jaws. The homeowner was able to scare off the coyote with an air horn. This 10-year-old had a terrifying encounter with a coyote, this time on a street in Toronto. Her fearless little Yorkie Terrier comes to her rescue. They target pets and small children, wow. and there's no coordinated effort anymore to get things under control. A city representative confirmed they received a claim but declined to comment on legal matters. Damn. <clears throat> I could definitely see the whole um, wildlife pushing back. They're kind of like forced to live in these 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 places that has homes and all that for humans. We're tearing down all a wooded area. We're moving into their property. So it will be crazy for us to think that it won't be no signs of wildlife coming into our neighborhoods. You feel me? That's, yo, jeez. The little girl, man. Luckily, she was young enough that she might not remember everything. If they keep showing her the picture, she's going to remember that shit until she's big. Probably be scared of, like, dog-type animals. But if they don't show her that until she get old, I'm pretty sure she might not be like afraid of certain things. But <clears throat> she's young enough to actually forget. Time go past, she'll forget. But she will always, you know, see the marks on her face. That's those those bites was devastating. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, they gotta have to find a way to keep these coyotes out of their neighborhood, not. The humans' neighborhood, out of their own neighborhood, they're chopping down forests and things of that nature. And the coyotes, you know, moles, raccoons, those type of animals don't have nowhere to go because we're invading on their property. I don't want to sound like activists for them, but that's what's happening when they when they start coming into places. How long that town that they came into was developed? We got to think of that. Was it developed a couple years ago? Because, yeah, it probably was a wooded area that they lived in. Damn. The girl, she looked like she's going to get better. It was a couple months ago. They just showed us the footage. So the footage is new. The The incident is not new. I think they said five months ago, right? Um, Yeah, the little girl on the other video being protected by a Yorkie. You know what I mean? Coyotes is out of control, obviously. It's a problem there. I didn't hear of a problem until this video surfaced. I didn't know it was a problem. Now I know. They definitely need to, um, yeah. 
if they're gonna have to start euthanizing these fucking animals, because now it's human, not grown humans that could potentially fight this thing off. It's kids and smaller animals that can't fight these things off. So they might have to start euthanizing these these coyotes and whatever might be out there, wolves and fucking mountain lions and shit like that, because obviously they're coming into the territory where it's populated with humans. Damn. Hopefully her face recover more. They got that little, they got cream and stuff that blends it in rather good, you know what I mean? So we can't say that those scars will be hideous forever. With that being said, uh, y'all can tell me y'all thoughts, what y'all think, or if y'all live in a neighborhood that coyotes might run wild in y'all neighborhood. Yeah, I would like to hear the stories and stuff. So, uh, yeah, just put it in the comments. With that being said, we out of here. Okay. Bow.